Welcome to the Championship League bubble. Come on in, my friends. Now, everyone has to stop right here because you have to get temperature checked, fill out our forms, and make sure that we're all COVID safe. Once you're COVID safe, you get one of these and you can officially enter the bubble. Let's go. Well, now we are officially in the bubble. That means I can take off this mask. And in case you're wondering where we are, feast your eyes on this. Even though I'm a gooner, that stadium looks absolutely gorgeous. Feast your eyes. Which brings us on to the practice tables. Now these are obviously 12 by six, exactly the same rats on tables as the guys will be playing with when they play live on television. These tables, by the way, are genuinely incredible. You'll notice that the only difference between this and possibly the match tables is that they won't have rest when they're out there. They're all in a very special compartment to be COVID safe. So when the guys are here, they get their bookings anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. They book these tables out. And after they've done that, they get to chill out over in the players' lounge. Let's go. Now this is the perfect place. When you're not on the table competing, you can come and see how your competitors are getting on and the guys just chill out here. So I'm gonna lower my voice a tiny bit. Sean Murphy, 2005 world champion, just chilling out there. They've got teas and coffees in the background. They've got their TV screens for both tables here. And it's no surprise that Sean's keeping an eye on who's playing well, because he wants to beat them. Well, as well as the players getting a chance to rest and relax in the room just there, we do exactly the same thing for Paul Collier, our tournament director. But that also applies to the refs, the officials, and everyone else in between. And that takes place just inside there. And the final of the important rooms is the promoter's office, because I'm sure you can imagine in 2020, these guys are having to make big decisions to make sure this event continues running. Now, the reason you'll be able to watch all of the snooker action is because of these guys here, Loop Productions. They are watching every single ball of every single frame of every single match to make sure you don't miss any of it. But check this out. You may have noticed the referees are always carrying one of these and basically it allows them to communicate to the computer systems exactly who is scoring what and when. Now the guys you'll be hearing whenever you watch the snooker are our commentary team just through there. We've got David and Dominic there and they're right now but Phil Gates makes the three musketeers. Welcome to the Championship League Snooker Diary Room. Now the whole purpose of this place is to show you the personality behind the players. Some people say snooker players do not show enough of their personality, which is exactly why we set up this chair and that camera right there. So the players before or after their matches will tell you how they're feeling, whether they're elated, whether they're devastated or anything in between. And failing that, we've even got questions for them as well. I'll give them a go. It says, my first one here, what do you think of the Championship League snooker? Not gonna lie to you, I like it a lot. It's short form, awesome players scattered throughout the tournament, so this could be something special. Next one says, what is your approach for the events between now and Christmas? Well, I'm not playing in many of them, mainly because I am awful at snooker. Final question, who is your best friend on tour? Uh, okay, I would go for Barry Hearn, because if I didn't say that, he would sack me. It's possibly the truth. Well, that is just a flavor of my questions. The players are gonna be so much better than me, but make sure you watch each and every single one of them right here in this chair on that camera. And this here is where the players have an awful lot of fun with the green screen behind them. Get your feet on the tee, and then simply, by clicking your fingers, you can be in many different places. Now, they'll either be here, or the Eagle Eyed Amongst you may have noticed there's a banner behind them there. And that's if you're a group winner, you basically do your winner's interview before you transition to the next phase of the Championship League. But of course, to get to that point, you first of all need to win on the table, which is exactly where we're gonna go next. And safe to say, it's awesome. Check this place out. And we end with our piece de resistance, 
Table one, AKA the table where the final will happen. There are two tables here, one on the other side of that curtain, but this is where it's really at. Come on, have a closer look. We've got all the guys with their accessories are here. I'm not gonna touch them because of COVID. We've got all of our sponsorship around here. And even though there is no crowd, there is undeniably an atmosphere here. This is the proper pressure cauldron. So imagine, I mean, when you talk about legends, it doesn't get more legendary than the rock star, the man himself, Jimmy White. And then over on this side, earlier on playing today, we had the 2005 world champion, Sean Murphy, for all the action. And indeed the final will take place on here. I'm not gonna touch it, but there can only be one man who'll be crowned the Bet Victor Championship League snooker champion. Do not miss it.